Good afternoon, everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed these beautiful presentations that my colleagues worked on so hard. Um, I'm Daniel Sprinkler, and I'm going to be a junior at Urban Club Academy. And the name of my project is the Castellet Code. What is a Castellet Concilia flower? This beautiful and unique flower goes by the name of Castellet Concilia. What makes it so unique is the most important aspect, which is the bracts, which, is, which are, for those who don't know, a modified naturally through evolution. This species is a hemiparasite, which means it carries out its own photosynthesis, but also attains food from the host. So it gets the best of the both worlds. <laughs> Why do castellated flowers have different colored bracts? In castellated case, each population, depending on the site, has different colored bracts. And nobody, nobody seems to have a reason for why is that happening. It could be because of genetics and environmental reasoning, reasons, sorry, or a combination of both. Colors that pollinators can see. Butterflies can see ultraviolet and visible colors while humans cannot, which will play a key part in the next upcoming slides. And the picture towards your right. Never mind. <laughs> As you can see, the little violet purplish, that is what in the eyes of butterflies. As for bees, same thing, except they cannot see so much red. I will explain how that's important also. But in the image below that is a split view of what we see at a daisy or a sunflower and what they see. And hummingbirds, they tend to pollinate red, orange, and pink flowers. Now, hummingbirds, they can see into the ultraviolet and they can see red, but that doesn't always play effect into what they pollinate. So just because they can see blue and green or whatever doesn't mean they're gonna pollinate it. They tend to go to the red, orange, and pink for whatever reason. RGB value. Now RGB is an addictive color model that adds red, green, blue, basic colors together to make an array of different colors. As you can see at the very top, red, that's red at its purest, or as far as we can see, which is at 255 units or pixels that makes up that red. As you pay attention to the yellow at 60 degrees, that becomes a mixture of red and a mixture of green. That's why it's 255 for red and green. And as you go around this beautiful color wheel, you get to get the image I'm trying to present as green is at its purest at 120 degrees with 255 pixels or whatnot, as far as blue. Scientific importance and application. Brat color is an important factor in pollination as different animal pollinators are attracted to different floral colors. Understanding how and why brat colors varies will contribute to the understanding of pollination biology and pollinator shifts between closely related plants, such as the Castellata Consignia. And in the future, applying a quantifiable floral RGB value to different populations of the same species could allow us to predict pollinators' profile for those sites. So, question. How can we quantify black color variation? Meaning, how can we get the exact color? Because at the pictures being shown right now, that looks red, that looks yellow, that looks orange. But it's deeper than that, and I have numbers to back that up. Method, what my mentor did before I even started the internship, they collected four bracts from each of 25 individuals per population, allowing me to get enough data for me to use. Thank you. And these are the scanned bracts. Now, drop seed at the far left, it looks all yellow, and in the middle, it's very diverse, so the pollinators come from anywhere, and at the very far right is all red, so those are not the colors that obviously the pollinators see, but that's what we see. This is the actual program that I used to obtain those RGB values, which is called Adobe Photoshop. Um, you use paint or whatever to um, go to the very tip of the brass to get the most accurate number as far as RGB values. You see at the top right. This is the average data that I have conducted. And as you can see, drop seed is 2010, 2010, 210 red, 185 green, and 53 blue, as it follows. Once again, beautiful pictures that I just fell in love with. 
average population black color. As I said before, since although bees can see into the UV, they can't see much of red. So why would they be in a population with red flowers? So as you can see, they are on the yellow side. And as you shift down the color, you see different pollinators. Now as far as for the hummingbirds or birds in general, they pollinate anything. But going back to what I said previously, they tend to stay in the red, orange, pink area because they can do that. In conclusion, the application of this observation will surely help as people will be given an accurate number of RGB value that can help in the future with the pollinator profile. No, I did not conduct an experiment. This is just observation that will help somebody with an experiment. So this is a stepping stone. Thank you to my mentor, Anna Brown, other mentee, Evan, Chicago Botanic Garden, College First Program, Shelly Bender, Ben Durham, Murphy Thomas, and College First Interns. Thank you. Any questions? No questions at all.